Imagine for a moment that you're in need of a place to live. Imagine you've lost everything you once had, your job, your car, your wife and kids, and now your home. You've appealed to family and friends, but there is nothing more they can do to help. You're feeling hopeless as you contemplate the only options you have left, living on the street, or maybe finding a shelter that can take you in. You've never been to a shelter, but you imagine it will be what you've seen on TV and movies, a dirty, run-down place full of people who are angry, crazy, and drunk. You wonder how you will keep the few possessions you have left from getting stolen. You wonder if you will be safe. We know that most of the men who arrive at the Salina Rescue Mission arrive feeling hopeless and worried about what life will be like at our shelter. We strive to show them a place filled with the hope of a brighter future. It is important to us that when a man comes into our shelter, he's treated with dignity and respect. Each man who comes through our doors is a child of God. The goal of the mission is to help men transform their lives through a relationship with Jesus Christ, while also teaching them basic life skills in order to help them overcome their obstacles. We discuss with each man what type of help they are looking for and help them choose the program that best fits their needs. The guest employment program assists men with acquiring a job, saving money, and moving back into the community as productive members of society. Men of the GEP meet with a counselor who helps them to set, establish employment goals. While the men are looking for work, we require them to participate in our worker training program. The men develop basic work skills while working on projects such as building utility sheds, park benches and picnic tables, gardening, and doing building sanitation. However, the greatest work skills we teach are the intangibles. We know that these are the skills that will help the men keep their jobs once they become employed. I'm a, a volunteer gardener here at the mission. I started about three or four years ago uh, managing the garden, and I want to emphasize that I just manage it. The uh, men do 98% uh, of the work. Sometimes the public conception of homeless shelters is that the people sit around and do nothing, and that certainly is not the case uh, here. Once a man finds employment, we begin teaching him the basics of managing his finances. We discuss his debts and responsibilities, establish goals, and provide ongoing financial accountability. As long as a man is making progress toward the goals and living within our rules and guidelines, we allow him to stay for as long as needed. Our desire through all of these steps is to see each man succeed and become productive citizens who will not need to return to the shelter in the future. Our second program is our medical and mental health program. This program is for men who are unable to work due to physical and or mental health issues. These men also meet with a counselor to identify the areas where they need help and to begin setting goals for moving forward in life. Some of the men we help have temporary health issues and just need to stay with us until their health improves and they're able to return to work. Others have more permanent health issues that limit their ability to work long term. In addition to helping the men in this program get the professional help they need, we work with them to create a vision for their life outside of the mission. Whether that means moving toward an independent living situation or into an assisted living environment. Our flagship program is the Bible-based New Life program. It focuses on helping men overcome any number of life-controlling issues while finding a new life in Christ. Each man learns to confess his sins and discover the grace of God which has been poured out for him on the cross. We believe that understanding the depth of God's love heals us from the inside. And as we seek reconciliation with God, ourselves and others, we get a vision the transformed life which is ours through faith in Jesus Christ. Well, the reason I needed to come to the mission was two years ago, I had tried to commit suicide. I got a job while I was here, but I left too soon. 
I got back on drugs. I started using marijuana. I started using meth. It wasn't good for me. The reason I came back here is because I wanted to get back in the NLP program. I needed to be in the NLP program. Men in this program meet with a case manager and our New Life Program Director weekly for biblical counseling. We challenge the men to humble themselves before God and learn to emulate Jesus when he says, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Before coming to the mission, uh, I had so many different struggles. Uh, Self-medication, I was turning to drugs and alcohol for uh, anything that I could, really. The New Life program has been a huge help to me. Uh, it gave me a sense of structure that was completely lacking in my life before that. We have classes every day in the NLP program that help me clarify what God wants out of my life. In the New Life program, my relationship with Christ has just become the most intimate thing in my life. Getting closer to God is something I've needed in my life for a long time. I mean, if I wasn't closer to God now, I don't think I ever would have gotten closer to Him. Although men work through this program at their own pace, most of them are ready to graduate in about a year's time. During this long but life-transforming program, the men are required to attend five different classes, go to two group therapy meetings each week, participate in work therapy, and become part of a local church. My former life was not very good. Uh, I didn't know how to deal with my problems a whole lot, so I just drank, buried everything, and wasn't a very good person. Somebody uh, recommended that I look into the new life program. Nah, I don't need a new life. What's, what am I going to do with that? I, like, I was comfortable being the alcoholic that I was. One of the first things I learned that uh, you're never alone when God walks with you. And that's something that really touches my heart because I was always a loner and took everything onto myself. You got to do things yourself, your way, and it wasn't working. Once a man graduates from the New Life program, he is able to stay in an aftercare room at the mission while he seeks employment and prepares to move out into independent living. We also understand that the men in our program have family members who have been affected by his life choices. We invite these families to be a part of the healing process. We provide counseling so family members can share their experiences and process emotions in a loving environment for the benefit of all. As you can see, our programs are an important part of helping men change their lives for the better. We also strive to provide a safe, spiritually uplifting environment for the men living here. In order to stay at the mission, men must be drug and alcohol free because we don't want unstable behavior to adversely affect those who are working hard to get their lives back together. We hold a chapel service every day at 6 p.m. All shelter guests and anyone from the community who wishes to eat supper at the mission must attend chapel. We want everyone who comes to the mission to hear and have a chance to respond to the love and grace of God. Additionally, our guests receive three meals a day, clothing, toiletries, laundry services, transportation to three locations in town twice a day, and other services to help them focus on reclaiming their lives. The mission has uh, provided me with food and clothing, shelter. Um, you know, in Matthew 6 it says, do not worry about what food you will eat or what clothing you will wear. And uh, this place really puts God's promises into uh, reality. It's a tangible thing. It's something I can touch, I can taste, I can feel. Uh, I see it every day here. If the mission wasn't here at this time and place when I needed it most, I'd probably be dead.
I'm pretty, I get pretty emotional about it now because it's so, it's overwhelming to think that after all I've said against God, been turned my back, walked away. When I turned back, he was right there with his arms open. So that's the greatest thing that I learned from the mission. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our ministry receives no government funding, but relies solely on gifts from individuals, organizations, businesses, and foundations to meet our annual operating budget, which is just over $1 million. Financial gifts play an important role in helping us meet the needs of our shelter guests. However, we also rely heavily on non-cash donations to help us stretch our budget dollars. Additionally, providing all our services would be impossible without the faithful support of our many volunteers. Most importantly, we would be unable to accomplish our ultimate mission without your prayers, because we know that it is the Lord who does the eternal work of transformation. Your generous support will allow us to continue offering the promise of a bright future to men for many years to come. If I could say something to the people that donate money here, I would say you're not just giving people a place to stay, a place to lay their head food. I would tell them that they're saving lives too. You're making a difference. Uh, whether it's a loaf of bread, whether it's a pound of hamburger, uh, there are mouths that get fed here. There are people's hearts that are opened. The safety of this place is all because of you. The uh, meals that are prepared here are all because of you. The lives that are being changed here are directly because of you. Uh, all I can say really at the end though is thank you. For more information, please contact us or go to our website, www.salinarescuemission.com.